In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use CapCut, Canva, Adobe Express, or Hippic, all free mobile apps to edit this trending photo journal concept. We're going to start with Canva. Open it. You're going to click on the plus, select upload, photo library, and select the photo you want to use for this edit. Absolutely love this photo. Click on done. Click use in a new design. Next, what you want to do is scroll, click uploads, and select the image again. You're going to notice that it's a smaller version of your photo. That's perfectly fine. Click on the image and resize it so that the two photos perfectly overlap one another. Now with the second image that you uploaded, it's selected. I want you to scroll and select BG remove. That sounds for background removal. Canva is going to do its thing. And now your background is removed to make sure that it's happened. What you're going to do is simply click on your image and move it. As you can see, there's two hands and a camera, but in the first picture, there's no background because we removed the background. Now I'll just go ahead and put it back in place. Perfectly overlap. You can tell that there's two pictures. Click text. For me, I'm going to be writing camera. So I'm going to simply say add text box. I'm going to write camera. Perfect. Now you want to choose the side of your text, the font that you're going to use. These are all things that you can do based on your preference. For me, I like the font Poppins for the big heading and then Roboto for the small smaller text in my in my photo journal you can choose whatever you want i just use those two because they're my brand fonts for my production company so i just keep it consistent but also they look really good together so i'm going to go ahead and click on fonts scroll down poppins bold perfect you want to move your text click on font size and make it big as big as you want now one of the things that i've noticed with my text is that it's all in cap locks i don't like that next what i want to do is i want to change the spacing of my letters so i'm going to click on spacing and reduce the spacing. Next, I want to change the color of my text. Click white and change all. Now my text is white and I have it at the size that I want. I'm going to increase the size of the word camera and I'm just going to move it down to where I'd like it to appear. Now you've probably noticed that the text is above my photo, right? I want it to be behind the lens. That is the whole concept of the photo journal edits. It's really cool because you see a great photo and the text is behind some elements in the photo. How do we do that? Click on the text, scroll, and click on layers. We have the text, we have the photo without the background, and then we have the photo with the background. We want the text to be in between both photos. So all you're gonna do is drag it and put it in between. And that's it. Once you have your big text, you probably wanna add smaller text. So I'm gonna click on text again, add a text box, and I'm gonna write of the day. Again, I want it all in lowercase. I'm gonna go over the, to fonts. I'm gonna choose Roboto as the font. I don't wanna change all, just this. I'm going to zoom in, move the text, change the font size, make it bigger, move the text to where I want it to be, reduce the font size, and then move it exactly where I want to keep it. I could put it here. I could put it here. I kind of like it a lot here. That's exactly how you do it. You want to have your text behind an element in your photo. Once it's done, save your image. Here's how to do it using CapCut. Select new project, select the photo you want to edit, click add, click on overlay, add overlay and select the same photo. Click on add overlay again and select the same photo again. So what you want to have is the photo three different times. Make sure to resize it so all three photos are the same size so they're perfectly stacked one under the other. Now you're going to click the first overlay that you added, scroll over and select remove background, auto remove. Background is removed. Click on the check. Select the second overlay that you put in and select remove background, auto remove. Now we're going to add the text, click on text, add text. And the text that we want to use is camera. I'm going to choose the font. I'm going to click on style, scroll over to spacing, change the character spacing, increase the scale and adjust the character spacing accordingly. Then place the text where I want it to be. What we have to do is change the layers, meaning that we want to put the text behind the camera. So how do we do that? Scroll over to layers and move the text between the two overlays. Click on the check. Now we want to add the other text, right? Camera of the day. Perfect. Styles. We're going to make it smaller. The size of the font. We're going to change the font. Let's choose Montserrat. I like that font. Perfect. Style. We're going to make it smaller right there. I want it to be bold because it doesn't seem very legible. I'm going to head and made it bold. I'm going to adjust the size by dragging the corners and then I'm going to move it into position. Click on the check 
and there I have it. Make sure that it's in the right position. Now, CapCut is a video editing app on your phone. It doesn't edit photos. So now how do you get this photo out of this project? What you're going to do is click the full screen button. And then you're going to screenshot. I don't know how your device works on an iPhone. It's a volume up and the power button. I've screenshotted it. Select that image, crop it. Click done, save to photos. And that's how you would do it using CapCut. Here's how to create the photo journal using Adobe Express. So click the plus upload media, photo library, click on the photo that you want to edit. Done. It's going to open up that photo in Adobe Express. You want to deselect the photo so you have the option to upload another image. Click on the plus, upload from device, photo library, and select the image again. Click on add. Perfect. Now you have the two photos. You can see everything that's on your project in the top right hand corner of your screen. So what we're going to do is select the first image, then click on remove background. It's going to remove the background of your image and only leave your hand with the camera rather my hand with the camera. Great. Now we're going to deselect everything and we're going to add text. Now, once again, I want to write camera. Perfect. I wrote camera and I'm going to click here to select the font that I want. I'm going to scroll down to pop in black. Then I'm going to change the color to white, select spacing to change the spacing of the letters. I'm going to select size to change the size of the text, drag the bottom right hand corner to adjust it move the text into the position that I want it to be in. And now here's where I'm going to be moving the word camera under the camera. To do that, look at the top right hand corner of your screen. You're going to see the different layers. You have the word camera, you have the photo without the background and you have the photo with the background. Select camera, drag it and drop it in between the two photos. Now, what if in the top right hand corner, you did not see those layers? Here's how you're going to access it. Simply scroll, click on layers, and it'll appear in your top right hand corner. Of course, you can go ahead and add the secondary text. So camera of the day, perfect. Choose font. We're going to scroll down. We want Roboto. Perfect. We change the color of the font to white, make it smaller. Perfect. And we're just going to move it into position right there. We love our edit. We're ready to save it and post it. Click on the save button, choose the format. I prefer JPEG. You can use PNG. It's really up to you. Click download and Adobe Express is going to download that image onto your phone. Here's how to create the photo journal edit using Hippic. Open the app, click import, select the image that you want to edit. Click overlay, select the photo again, click on the check and then resize that overlay that you just added. Our goal here is to make it the same size as the first image. Next, you're going to click on cutout, select auto, agree, and AI is going to be recognizing the subject. Hippic will automatically increase the size of your overlay. So you're going to see the image without a background, but it's really big, meaning that both pictures are not the same size. And you can see that there's two hands in your image. What you're going to have to do is simply resize and move that overlay without the background until it completely covers up the photo with the background. If you look at it right now, you wouldn't know that it's two pictures. You think it's one. That's perfect. Click text, enter text, and we're going to write camera again, all in lowercase. That's my style. It's up to you. You can put uppercase. You can choose whatever font you want for this one. What I'm going to be using is on set. I like that. Click on style to adjust the letter spacing. I'm going to click on alignment and adjust the letter spacing. So I changed my spacing because I like what it looks like. You can keep your spacing as is click on size, increase the size of the text, click on the check, move it down to where I'd want it to be in the final image. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to order, move down. And what Hippic is going to do is going to move the text one layer down, meaning that it's now under the image without the background. Now click on text, enter the details of this photo journal of the day. Choose the font. I'm going to choose something simple because we, I want the first one to be bold and then the second one to be relatively demure. <laughs> I chose a font called red hat. I'm adjusting the size and the positioning. Love it right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to click the save button. 
when you create photo journals, tag me. I'd love to see what you create, see your story, see your day, see your photos, see your edits. And if you want to know more, whether it's how to shoot your photos, how to do the composition of your photos, how to edit your photos before you add the text, leave me a comment down below on what is the best format for you and what you want to learn.